I'm getting better, hey? Well done, man. Lots of remember, and I'm busy, honey. Oh, okay. All right, so let's go and have a look at the mitosis worksheet that we're going to mark that last question. Um, now I'm just wondering where it is. Lesson 23. Where did I upload it? I'll just maybe use it. I should have a general folder with all the notes. Oh, here we go. With the grade 12, I've got a general folder where I put all the notes. I think I should do that here as well. Because what I'm looking for in a day, and that's in one of the days, and that's going to work that well. So I'll probably do that for the next session. I have a separate general folder for all the notes, and then ch -ch 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 lesson. All right, so we were busy with that last question. Question number four. It was just make a neat label drawing of a plant cell with? Label. Label, oh. six chromosome, very anastasia. Oh, okay. Yeah, just that one. Okay, then it's easy. All right, so what are we drawing? Tell me. Plant, uh, cell wall. Cell wall. I mean, everyone draws round and less animal cells, plant cells. Everyone draws that shape. But we know plant cells can be, um, some of them can be square, some of them can be rectangles, some of them can be ovals, some of them can have wavy shapes. Did you know that? Some of them can be tube shaped. That's the next section. That's called plant tissues. Okay, did you all look at Google Classroom? I invited you to be bot botanists for a little bit. Where's everyone? Yeah? We're here, man. <laughs> All right, so there is a plant cell, okay, so it says I must draw it at anaphase of mitosis. So what am I going to draw? Hello, Hannah and everybody else. What am I going to draw? We're doing question four of the word. Okay, and oh, sorry, it's a plant cell. Animal cell only. Oh, fudge. Okay. No, I didn't know. So, I was like, there's no stopping. I thought there was essential and plant cell as well. Yeah, no, it's just called an aster. Okay, but you don't need to know that. It's called an aster. It's the region where, like a little anchor point where the spindle fibers attach to the plant cell. But you explained that you were kind of like the only difference between the two was that the plant cell forms the cell plate. Cell plate, yes. So that's why I was like, syndrome. Yeah, okay. So it says six chromosomes. So what must I draw? It's anaphase. How many little V's do I draw going to the top? Six. Yeah, okay. Because there would have been six strands of chromatin and they would have coiled up to form six. Help me. Chromosomes. chromosomes, and then they would have replicated to form replicated chromosomes with how many DNA molecules each? Two, and those two DNA molecules are called chromatids, and they're joined by a region called the. Okay, right. So we would have drawn one, two, three, wherever being pulled towards the pole by the contracting. Your fibers. And then it says label. So um, yeah. so you would need a heading, okay? So always please, you know, in the tricks now they're getting really sticky with the ID marking about heading. So even if they do a flow chart, flow chart flow chart showing um, how PCR takes place in the replication of DNA, something we do in grade 12. Alright, or flow charts of how fossils are formed. Do you remember that one? So put a heading there, okay? Heading, um, heading, and it's a drawing, okay? A drawing to show the process of uh, mitosis in a plant cell with six chromosomes. You don't have to say with six chromosomes, though. All right, so we can label. So try and label things that are, you know, stand out for anaphase. So you could say spindle fiber contracting. What would I label here? What's being pulled? Whoops. Oh, you can say centrum here. Okay, so chromatid, let's just do this one first. <coughs> sure. Chromatid, but you can also call them what now? Sister chromosomes. <coughs> Careful. You can also call them daughter. Oh, daughter. Hmm. I'll explain what you said now, now. Okay, so chromatid or 
daughter chromosome are being pulled to the pole. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a tickle. <coughs> Okay, so a daughter chromosome or chromatids are pulled to the poles. You could label cell wall if you want, cytoplasm, whatever. Okay, but my labels are shocking. They need to be one below the other. Are we happy? So you would have got a, um, at least that it's a plant cell. That, oh, wait, now I can't find, I can't remember where my model is. Somewhere here. I think I gave marks. There were three or four labels. How much is it out of again? Okay. Heading would have been one or two marks. All right. And then I would have wanted to have seen six chromatids. And that they were single. In other words, that they're not drawn as um, chromatids drawn together to form a homolo... I'm not, no, you don't know that. To form a replicated chromosome. Okay. Something like that. All right, then what do you said just now, Sabaya? When you look at a, a replicated chromosome, I'm just, am I on, I'm just trying to check if you can see. When we draw a replicated chromosome, so there's one DNA molecule, there's the other. We actually do call these sister chromatids. But that's more um, pertinent for grade 12 when we do meiosis. Yeah, they sister, yeah, they sister chromatids, they stay together until anaphase when they pull the pump. All right. Okay, so now, what else did I say here? Let's have a look. Crossword. Okay, that's grade 12. Um, let's go back. We'll have another one open. So that we've done now. Um, then I said, now what I did yesterday, okay, so this is now, that was the end of the mitosis worksheet. And then you guys, you've all watched my videos on cancer and the one that I made. So yesterday I, we had a discussion. So can I show you the video that I made of discussing with the class? Or do you want to have your own? Because there's going to be things there that I won't remember to say, but we can stop it along the way. All right, but there's one on, there's another video from YouTube that I want to show you first. All right, so people at home, um, the video, let's just check here, they are uploaded onto Google Classroom. All right, so grade one, that's the lesson I had with choice one, and it's quite a long video, it's 55 minutes, and I'm going to show you this one first. Uh, breast cancer treatment, just because they mention all the different things that have been taught well, that you saw when you watched the video. And then they've got Mr. Anderson, and he talks really fast, and he talks about the new treatments in that of cancer. And it's quite an old one, because there's, there's progressive changes, there's you know, new research into cancer treatment. Alright, so people at home, I'm going to first play this one, and then the one from yesterday, when I was discussing with choice one. So, for example, a cell, when you form the finger, separate finger, yeah. apoptosis, yeah. which you don't need to know. To, so that cell breaks down, mm -hmm. so to get separate fingers. Okay, so that's okay. a suicidal cell? Um, not really. Not, okay, what he was talking about was something slightly different. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. So, Shane, Hannah and everyone, I can just see Hannah's little logo, but you can stay with us. <laughs> 